Bismillah. In this video, we're going to go over how castor oil can be applied to your belly button, the benefits that you get from doing this, and also the people who should and should not do this, and how to use it the right way to get the best results. Castor oil is amazing for your health and I've done several videos on it already if you want to go and check them out. And before you try using castor oil for anything, you should always try a small area of your skin, put a little swipe of it on and leave it there for 24 hours and see if you get any kind of redness, irritation or itching before you try to use it for anything. When you're using castor oil, you also want to make sure that you get cold pressed castor oil, make sure there's no chemicals in it get organic and the best quality that you can find. I'll leave some links in the shopping bag here if you can't find it on your own. Now because castor oil is very strong and affects people a lot in different ways, it is not good for a certain amount of people. So if you are pregnant, you should not use castor oil for these applications. Or if you are on your menstrual cycle, you should not use it either because when you're on your menstrual cycle, it might help to induce more cramping. So you want to wait until you're finished and then you can use it and it will actually help to relieve and get rid of those symptoms for the next time around. Other people who shouldn't use it are people who have excess belly fat. This should not be used for you. Or if you frequently urinate, this is also something you should not be using. And of course, make sure you talk with your doctor first before trying anything as sometimes castor oil might interact with different kinds of medications, so you might want to check first with your doctor. Before we get into the benefits, if you are trying to make a big difference on, say, your liver, you're trying to detoxify that, or maybe you're trying to deal with a bigger issue in your insides, doing just the belly button might not be enough, and you might want to try to do the castor oil packs. So using this for your belly button will help to promote overall health instead of targeting just a specific area that you're trying to work on. So first you should decide what you're working on before you start and use the castor oil. Why it works so well is castor oil has 90% of ricinoleic acid and it's not like any other oils. It's very different in its composition. It also has lots of other fatty acids and triglycerides which help to boost your skin moisture and improve its overall appearance. Why you want to apply it to the belly button is because this is the center of a lot of nerve endings and a rich area for the blood supply. So it's easy to be carried throughout the body. So what it can do for you. So if you're putting it in your belly button, this is some of the benefits that you might experience. One is for pain relief, especially related to menstrual cramps or the menstrual cycle for women. It also helps with joint and muscle pain overall for everyone. And this is mostly due to the ricinoleic acid that we talked about, because this helps to reduce inflammation and pain. If you're experiencing a lot of pain in a specific a muscle area, better to use a castor oil pack on that specific area. Castor oil is really great for your gut and your overall gut health. So if you have any problems with constipation or digestive issues, diarrhea, or maybe you're experiencing IBS, or you just don't have very good overall colon health, using castor oil in your belly button will really help to improve this. It's great for relieving constipation. It helps to balance out your gut and encourage the good bacteria to grow. And it helps to lower the inflammation in there as well. So this might help to increase your nutrients to get absorbed and have a better overall gut health. So if you're prone to having dry skin, this will also help a lot to help to keep it moist and soft. It may even help with reducing more collagen and elastin for your skin. When you apply castor oil in your belly button, this may also help to improve your immune system. As it gets absorbed, it will help to strengthen your blood flow and your lymph system. And this will in turn, of course, help your immune system. This also will help to detoxify your body because if it's increasing your blood flow and improving your lymph system, then this will help to detoxify your liver and kidneys and help to clean your body out overall. It may also help to improve your sleep 
because it helps to relieve inflammation and lowers your strain and stress. So this should also, of course, help you to sleep better. It can also help to improve your reproductive health for both male and female. So how to use it to get some of these amazing benefits? Now, everyone is different, I said before. So you want to just start with a tiny bit. Some people could just put a little bit on a Q-tip and rub that inside the belly button once, and that's too strong for them. So they'll notice right away you will see nauseousness or uncomfortableness in your stomach and this is a sign that you're too sensitive to it so you want to have less. Other people won't even notice any signs at all with that amount so they might need a little bit more. You can fill up your belly button but you should not do more than that. So start first slowly with just a little bit on a q-tip and if that's fine the next day you can try a little bit more. You want to make sure that your belly button is clean and your finger or your q-tip everything is clean when you're doing this. The best time to do it is when you have an empty stomach, so maybe in the morning when you just get up or when you're going to bed at night. These are the best times to do it to get the maximum absorption and help it to work better in your system. You should leave it there for about two to three minutes and then you can wash it. Castor oil can do many great things for your body and each of us will experience different levels of the benefits because of our body types. If you try this, please leave some comments down below how it's worked for you and the benefits you've experienced to help others. Don't forget to eat healthy to help take care of your body overall. And you can go check out my pot of food channel here on healthy recipes if you need some help and ideas. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.